All of the blending techniques I'm going to show are really just different ways of getting to the same place. So depending on the image and what approach makes the most sense to you, you can take your pick. All of them can achieve the same or similar results if done correctly. And they all take some practice. Even after years of doing it, I often have to give a blend more than one go before I finally can get it right. The simplest method of exposure blending with luminosity masks I'm going to show you is to create a custom luminosity mask first that's targeted to the transition zone, the area where the bright exposure and the dark exposure need to blend together. So I've already done the same preparation to the light and dark exposures that I showed in the previous chapter so that we can get straight to the blending. So right now I've got the light exposure on the top and I prepped it so that the foreground looks as close to how I want it to look as I could get it in Lightroom. And this is the dark exposure underneath and the sky and the highlights are all correct. And then I tried to get it to match in the dark areas of the image as best I could. Now, when we're doing this kind of blending, I usually like to have the dark exposure on the top. That's the way it makes sense to me. So that's how I'm going to demo it. So I put that dark exposure on the top, then I'm going to turn it off because I want to create the mask from the light exposure. And I want to find a mask that will create the best separation between the sky and the land. So let's take a look. There's a standard luminosity mask. I'm guessing probably a blue mask might really do the best job. The sky is almost entirely white and the landscape is very dark. Now we can modify this mask a little bit. I might bring up the highlights a little bit, but a lot of that sky is already completely white. So there's not much I need to do there. I could also bring down the blacks a little bit to just create even a little bit more separation down here. But then I'm also going to use the brushes to just entirely paint out this whole bottom area here because I want this to all come from the lighter exposure. And I want all of the sky to come from the darker exposure. And I only want the luminosity mask to work the transition zone right in between the two. Now it looks like there might be a little bit of white area or actually not quite white area up here. So I'm just gonna make a pass across there and get that set. And once I have that looking good, I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. So I'll just click the apply button, apply that mask, and there it is. That mask is doing a great job of blending through that transition zone. And that's what it would look like with just that dark layer. But of course, we've got all that noise down in here in that dark exposure that's been lightened to match the lighter exposure. But with this mask being entirely black down here, we're getting all of the good, clean pixels from the light exposure down in this area and we're only seeing any of those dark exposure pixels in the sky and a little bit in the transition zone. And that's it. That's how that technique works. At this point, we're ready to go on developing this image with all of our other developing techniques as if the camera had actually been able to capture it like this in one shot.